Will we ever see a trillion dollar market cap? Let's talk big picture and big money. Hey YouTube, welcome to Altcoin Picks. I'm Josh, one of the new team members at the Altcoin Picks team, and today we're going to discuss enterprise and blockchain and what that can mean for retail investors. Nowadays, we see more news about large companies trying to make a move into the crypto space. It seems as if they were tiptoeing around the blockchain subject for the past few months, mostly non-committal, or they are quiet, or they are speaking out against crypto markets, citing tulip mania, beanie baby bum rushes, and until recently, some companies have began to display interest. By recently, I mean in the last month, Amazon, Microsoft, Bank of America, HSBC, Goldman Sachs, and JP Morgan are all just a few big names that have been making experimental steps into incorporating blockchain into their businesses. History shows us that the most innovative and free-thinking companies branch out and use all of the opportunities presented, which has sparked some of the largest advances in technology and the way of life that we have come to accept as normal today. But it's not just big companies. Now it's banks and other financial institutions that have blockchain on the brain and potential profits in their sites. This kind of volatility in the markets is extremely enticing for traditional investors who want to see more gain. Now let's look at some of the steps that have been taken and some of the caveats that are slowing down the process. So recently Goldman Sachs has gone from ignoring the technology to hiring a crypto trader as a head of digital assets and saying that it would be opening a crypto trading desk within weeks. So another couple of companies that are utilizing blockchain technology are Amazon and Microsoft. Amazon wants to host a blockchain as a service model which will allow users to manage their own decentralized applications through their Amazon Web Services. Microsoft is also looking to build platforms on which businesses can grow their blockchain applications upon, such as their Cocoa framework, which is the Ethereum-based protocol, which falls under their Microsoft Azure company, um, which is their company's cloud computing arm. And their most recent product is the Azure Blockchain Workbench, which came out on May 7th. So with all these experiments being conducted, we can see that blockchain is far from a fad and that there is some real substance here. These companies have obligations towards their investors and their customers, which is forcing them to provide value in new ways. These new ways will bring more and more new prospective investors to the crypto marketplace. So now let's talk regulation, which is one of the huge things that people keep talking about and bringing up and fudding over and causing these stupid little sell-offs. So why is big money afraid of the SEC? Well, let's look at a couple of their greatest hits. In April 2011, the SEC charged the firm Goldman Sachs with defrauding investors by misstating and omitting key facts about the financial product tied to the subprime mortgages in the United States housing market. Goldman Sachs agreed to pay a record of $550 million. So their history of hitting big companies where it hurts, we can deduce that the SEC means business. Once we see a solidified and reasonable position by the SEC, it will be a catalyst that will lead to the next bull run that may resemble the market in December or take us to the higher highs. So once we see a solidified and reasonable position by the SEC, it will act as a catalyst that will lead to the institutional involvement in the next bull run. The only question is when. Uh, the next step towards a more perfect crypto space are security tokens. After the SEC comes on board, being able to buy tokens that are a part ownership of a company would come with great benefits to us as retail investors. This is basically an investment contract where the main use to buy tokens would be in anticipation of future profits in the form of dividends or price appreciation. Now let's look back at what most people are purchasing tokens for currently, or utility tokens. Some may be using utility tokens for their intended purpose, but for the most part, we are buying tokens for the prospective value as an investment. So big money comes from effortless technological adoption, sound regulation, and a little bit of bravery. As for now, with the consensus 2018 going and the markets taking a small dip, let's try to keep the big picture in mind. We haven't seen the height of blockchain's disruptive potential yet. Remember, investing is a game of patience and strategy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.